been on a single shade page until I started messing with him. Until I started messing with Jano, now all of a sudden, I'm on shade pages. Now people are harassing me. Now I gotta keep turning my comments off. Now I gotta private my social media accounts all because people are coming at me because he can't do the right thing and then want to get on big o talking about oh she delusional i never liked her she was never she was never my girlfriend nigga the night i met you you said you wanted to get my name tatted on your face oh the same night i met you you wanted to get my name tatted on your face now all of a sudden I'm delusional now all of a sudden I wasn't the girlfriend. I was your girlfriend. I was never the sneaky link. You wanted to be the main first. He we said, he said, he said, don't be fucking with nobody. Just keep being you. They know you precious. Keep being you. They know you precious. So that means you know I'm precious. There was a, a, a person in the comments that said Sasha's better. And he said she is. So why are you not acting like it? If I'm better, why are you not acting like it? If I'm better, why are you going three days without talking to me? Why are you going three days without seeing me? I can't see you, but somebody that you used to date can see you. Somebody that you just, the night before last, was telling me you don't fool with. Telling me you don't fool with this girl, you know she doesn't love you, telling me I need to chill because you don't even do this drama stuff. You told me you called her on the phone and checked her already. Mm. So if you're saying all of these different things, why are you not moving the way that you're talking? You're not, not walking like you're talking. Why? Why is he not walking like he's talking? I don't know. It's disrespectful. It's very disrespectful, especially because I never once did a single Thing to him never even text a single other male while dealing with him not one boy right now can say i text him while i was dating him not one male except for jano had my attention he was the only man with my attention i was not worried about anybody except for him and i told him that i communicated that to him i told him I'm worried about you. Our relationship started because of him. Yeah. But now I'm delusional. Hopped on a plane and went to Florida for him. And when I went to Florida, we were already together. We were already in a relationship. We made sure that we had a solid foundation before we popped out to the public. We were in a relationship when we popped out to the public. They did not know. All they knew was what they saw. Talking every day texting every day it got to a point where we were feeling each other so much we didn't want to text we wanted to see each other what's good youtube it's your girl ricky lee and i'm back with another banger video i know you've seen that title i know you've seen that thumbnail so you already know what i got planned for today now i know i'm not as hype as i usually be i know i'm not banger you feel me but today is just not the average video today is a video where i will be talking to sasha she will be explaining everything that has happened between her and Jano. now obviously by the title of this video in the thumbnail you already know what we got planned but i just wanted to give sasha that opportunity you know to explain her point of view of what's been going on before they even reached Atlanta. So y'all been seeing a lot of TikToks, y'all been seeing a lot of live videos with Jano, his ex, Sasha, her feelings, crying, but all the pieces are just everywhere, don't you agree? Yes. So she's gonna explain everything. She's gonna lay everything out on the table for you guys. So we're gonna be here, we're gonna support Sasha and just we're going to hear her out and you know how i've already been you know big on not putting our personal business on the media right you know i don't want to put every little detail all of our business on the media but i will say this i was jano's girlfriend until he touched down in atlanta he touched down in atlanta and lost his mind 
He touched down in Atlanta and suddenly had amnesia and forgot that he had a girlfriend. You was the girlfriend. I was the girlfriend. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. I was the girlfriend. I was just at his house for a week prior to. He flew to Atlanta to see me, to be with me. He came to Atlanta and entirely, suddenly, entirely forgot. I got a girlfriend. My girlfriend was just with me. I got a girlfriend. Just totally forgetting that he had a relationship when he came to Atlanta. He came to Atlanta and not only did he forget that he had a girlfriend, but he also went on to put on a show for the person he's currently entertaining. I'll take a lie detector test. Literally, I will sit here and take a lie detector test. I was his girlfriend 1000% until he came to Atlanta. No misunderstanding at all. Everything was all peaches and cream. Then he came to Atlanta, got a little taste of freedom and just Ran wild. He got a little taste of freedom and went to go shake a tail feather. In fact, Jano is who said I love you first. How it started? What happened in Florida? How was you and Jano? So in Florida, Jano and I were, it's safe to say we were perfect. Mm -hmm. We were literally perfect. We never argued. Um, we had really good communication. Um, we clicked a lot. We, we were able to relate on a lot of things. Oftentimes, like he would text me or I would text him and we would be like, oh, I was just thinking about you. Like we were in sync. I remember um, when I first met you guys, one of the things that I remember you was saying like, that's your twin, like he the male version of he you. He is the male version. Yeah. That's when we were in Florida. Everything was good, right? Everything was good. So when you was in Florida, how was Jay no emotions towards you? How how was he acting like? Were y'all in a relationship at the time? He was very affectionate. He was very affectionate. Like he gave me a lot of hugs and kisses throughout the day. And he was very um he was always asking, Are you okay? Is anything wrong? How are you feeling? Um, he just was, he was there emotionally, physically, he was there. He was always there. Okay. So basically what I'm getting from this in Florida, y'all were living in this fantasy. Like y'all were good. It was just y'all against the world. Like it was no problems. He was there for you. Mm -hmm. He never left your side. Mm -hmm. And we even like, we had a few like brief conversations and we kind of like we came to a common ground like to an understanding that you know we were gonna or we were saying that you know we were gonna make it through we were gonna push through we were gonna mm -hmm. stay together um like stay together like be in a relationship or yes, live together we we're gonna be together in a okay. relationship yes okay so you say y'all came to an understanding Okay, so understandings can be a miscommunication because one person could think that we're under, being understood this way, one person could be understood that way. Mm -hmm. Was it clear that y'all were in a relationship when y'all were in Florida? Was you and Jano together in a relationship? Yes. It was clear? Yes. You was bae? Yes. She was bae in Florida? Yes. Okay, so my next question was... Okay, so... From Florida, right? We did we did the blind date. We made some content. Y'all were good. It was time for you to go home, mm -hmm. right? Um, how did y'all come to the conclusion that? How did Jano even end up coming to Atlanta? How did that come about? So I had no. I wasn't aware that he was kind of. I guess it was like a surprise or something that he'd already planned. So he already had it in his mind that he wanted to come back with me, but I didn't yeah. know. And when we were making the first YouTube video, he, when he said it, I was thrown for a loop because I didn't even know. I remember. And it was a really big surprise and it was like a really happy moment. And he just was like, yeah, I, I wanted to come back with you when, you when you went home. I wanted to come with you. Right, I remember that. Um, so basically, um, Jayna was supposed to surprise you and come to Atlanta and he ended up really coming. Yes. Okay. 
When when you got back to Atlanta, how was you and Jano relationship when he was in Florida for a date and you was in Atlanta? It's a little, it's kind of quick to tell because he literally flew the day after I came home. So it was like when I was leaving, he was telling me not to be sad because he was like, you know, just look at it like you came to see me, now I'm coming to see you. Because mm. I was really sad. I didn't want to leave. And he was like, you know, don't be sad because I'm, I'm coming too. I'm going to come with you. Wow. So that's like you know that was that because um i ended up missing my flight i remember because you texted me and you had to mm -hmm. get another one the yeah. next day and i had to get another one the next day but yeah he was just telling me like you know don't be sad i'm gonna see you tomorrow and that was pretty much it right so his intentions was you came to orlando to see me now i'm coming to Atlanta to see you and i'm coming be with you yes okay so once he reached Atlanta, this is your time. Explain to them everything that happened when y'all got to Atlanta. When he got to Atlanta, I was who went and picked him up from the airport and his friends. And um, I picked him and his friends up from, I picked him and his friends up from the airport. Mm -hmm. And then we came back to the house and, you know, everybody was just like, chill and we ended up going to the mall like less than 30 minutes from when they got here so we got they got here and then we all ended up going to the mall together right and um after we left the mall came back and um we were like trying to find like something to do there were a lot of people over here and um it was really just a it was like a it was like a chill vibe like i remember we went live that day we also made tiktoks that day like you know, every, yeah everything was fine so the reason why that the reason why jano was not um here and still is not here is because um he was with his friends and he has a lot of friends and with anxiety is a little much and, you know, I didn't mind a few people being over here, but mm -hmm. then it was a lot of heads around here. Um, a lot of different people going in and out. The door was being left unlocked. So it was, it was just really uncomfortable. And um, I shared that with Jano and I was really, I really didn't want him to take it personally. I didn't want him to feel like he wasn't welcome over here, that right. his friends weren't welcome over here. It was just Because you prepared the house for yeah, them. Yeah, I prepared the house for them. Right. I did. I made, I went and got uh, more to drink. I got uh, like some bread. And when they got here, like they were eating and stuff. And I also, when we went to the mall, I ended up getting a second controller. I was already going to. So take them through what happened, the mall situation. So the second mall trip, I was shopping and I told him, I did tell him that I was in there, but he was texting me and he was telling me about someone who needed to come to a favor for him. Right. And he told me that he did have to leave. So I was aware that he did need to leave. Um, he told me that he was going to ask if I could come. And after that, I believe his phone died. Right, because your message didn't deliver. Yes. So after that, um, I was aware that he was gone. I left pink after I went shopping. I came outside of the store and, you know, I was looking for them. I couldn't find them. I didn't know where they were. Um, I looked like everywhere, like I looked in each direction. And then I thought to myself, maybe, you know, one of them are waiting for me in my car or something. So I go out to the parking lot. I go to my car. No one's there. Any thoughts on that? How you feel about that? Um, I just really personally, I feel like when it comes to that, I feel heavily wronged because I came with a group of people and left alone. And it was, you know, it was nearing getting dark outside and anything could have happened. Okay. Anything could have happened. And, you know, imagine if something would have happened and I'm calling them like, hey, and I'm trying to get help, and, you know, and they're not answering the phone. What happened between you and Jano from his phone dying to that night? So after I left the mall, I came home and I was, um, I was in my room most of the time. And I still, um, I text Jano a couple more times after that. I think it may have been two or three more times after that. Mm -hmm. And um, I wasn't really, I wasn't really getting anything from him. He wasn't really talking to me. Um, when I was calling him, he wasn't answering the phone. 
and I was really I didn't really know what to do I didn't know what to say I didn't know how to feel my mind was going crazy I right. didn't you know I didn't really know and then um before I knew it I was on TikTok and there were people that were commenting on my videos asking me why Jaina was with Ida I was confused instantly I didn't know what they were talking about um and it went from being one people to being three people to being like five people. I didn't know what to say. I didn't know what to do. And at first I was really honestly deleting the comments and just going on about my business. Right. And then before I knew it, my phone was blowing up. Everybody was sending me screen recordings. There were people that were DMing me on Instagram. There were people that were dragging me. There were people that were coming at me. There were people who were laughing at me. There were all of these different things that were happening and it all fell out of the sky. You know, what was going on, I didn't want to believe anything that the people were saying because they were accusing him of different things. I didn't want to believe what they were saying. Yeah, people were blowing me up. They were sending me stuff. And when I finally started watching the screen recordings, um, they were um, actually really weird. Mm -hmm. And someone sent me a link to a Big O Live. Mm -hmm. Went and joined the Big O Live. Ida and her friends, they were trying to fight me. I don't know them. Okay. I didn't know where this came from. Right. I didn't know why, you know. Um, and actually, shortly before I watched that live, I got a DM from one of her friends. They were trying to get me to come out of the house. This, it was about um, nearly three in the morning. It was like two, it was two something. I asked them to leave me alone and I did block them. I really was not interested. I didn't know what was going on. As the night progressed, people just going on live trying to fight you. How do you feel about that? It's really weird. I feel like we're too old. It's really childish. All I knew was there were people accusing Jano of saying and doing things. And then um, her and her friends, they were trying to fight me. Based on the entire night from seeing a live, seeing people trying to fight you, seeing Jano not responding, the hotel, everything. The only reason why Jano got a hotel was because I was not comfortable with him and all his friends being over here. Mm -hmm. So he went and he got a hotel for, you know, him and all his friends to be able to hang out together right. because I wasn't comfortable with everyone being over here. He didn't text me. It was like kind of like mid because I confronted him. And when I confronted him, he showed me that he was in a hotel room. It was kind of it was kind of backwards because I was confronting him about the Airbnb situation, and he showed me that he was at the hotel. I'm trying to figure out like timestamps, like, well, are you were you over there? You're just not over there anymore. Did you never go over there? I was really confused. No one was really telling me anything. Cause you never really seen Jano face in none of the videos. No. I didn't see his face in him. Okay. When did Jano actually text you back? He responded to me when I asked him if he gave them my address. He said no. You know, I started becoming confrontational with him again. Why am I in the middle of this and I don't bother anyone? I don't do anything to anybody. And he right. said, I don't put you, I didn't put you in the middle of this. What are your thoughts on that first night that you found out that he was with Ida? How do you feel about that as a person, as a girlfriend, as everything? I initially was very defensive of Jano when all of this was happening. Um, you didn't want to believe it. I didn't want to believe it. And, you know, I was defending him. And it was because I also didn't want to, I also didn't want to feel like I was coming at him over, you know, he say, she say. Because people can tell you whatever they want. People can say whatever they want. But until you actually endure it, you won't ever really know. That's how I was operating about it because I didn't have any solid proof that Jano was doing anything. Right. So I was, you know, I was very defensive of him, very, very, very defensive of him the entire time. People were flooding my comments. I had to turn them off. Um, when I turned them back on, they started flooding them again. I was very, 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 very defensive of him. How did Jano react the morning after? I didn't hear from Jano at all those three days. Three days? Yeah. No text, no call, no nothing. Barely. Like the, 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 the texting was like, you know, like dropping breadcrumbs, but I did not hear his voice at all. I will say, I will say this because I did forget this. I will say this. Um, Jano was texting me. He texted me more than once. It was, uh, I wasn't texting him back because I was, I was really upset. I didn't really want to, I didn't really want to talk. I was still defending him, but I didn't really want to talk to him. When I did text him, he said that he was coming over here. Right. 
and um, he said that he was coming over here. He got the lift to come over here, and then he never did. How do you feel about Ida bringing your name into the situation when you never bothered anybody? Um, I still to this day don't really have too much to say to her um, because, you know, as I've been saying, I don't know her. You know, I don't know her personally. We never sat down and had a regular conversation. I don't know her. Would you have a regular conversation with her? No. My, my spirit does not align with hers. Because my spirit does not align with her, I don't believe we will have a cordial conversation, but that does not mean, it just means I just can't talk to you. I just, I re just really would, really wish I just would have been left alone, if that makes sense. Yeah, it feels like it's a lot of, it's like a game of cat and mice. Mm. She's the cat, I'm the mice. But it's like, not in a way that's like, you know, I'm like, you know, running away, but it's just like, it just seems very, very weird. Like there are, it's just weird and I don't know her. So it's like, that makes it even more weird. Okay. Um, so this is gonna be your moment where you lay all your feelings out online. We kind of explained to them, they needed to know how, cause obviously you're delusional, apparently. You're delusional. Y'all ain't never been in a relationship. <laughs> don't look at me like that. <laughs> apparently you're delusional. Y'all ain't never been in a relationship. This is not what he wanted. You is Miss Sneaky Link. This is your moment where you're letting them know how you feel about everything from Florida to now, the live, being ignored, Ida, confrontation, TikTok comments, Instagram comments. Let them know everything. Apparently, Jano has had a crush on me for quite some time and I was not aware. And so when I finally spoke to Jano, it was like we hit the ground running. So um, it started when I joined his live one night and I joined his live and I gave him a compliment. And, you know, we were kind of like speaking back and forth and, you know, and when he got off the live, he gave me his number and we started texting. And um, when we were texting each other, he was very charming. He was very charming. He had manners, he was respectful. Um, he was really just everything. Itchy nose? He was really, <laughs> he, was re he was really just, you know, he was, he was everything. He was everything. Yo, she be snowing coke. I'm just being honest. <laughs> <laughs> My nose is itching for real. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Walk in that bitch, keep a Glock in my garment. All my young niggas gon' shoot like the Hornet. Can't even hit in my other they informant. Nigga walk up, I'ma shoot with no warning. Ay, I seen a blitz and they swarm I got a stick on me when I'm recording. I got a stick on me when I'm performing. Ay, I'm sipping, drinking no six pack. I really came up from a nick. These niggas playing, we really be with that. Act like this whole nigga come get your beast back. I ran it up, niggas mad, they can't get back. I get a pack and I make it do jumping jacks. Niggas I don't even know tryna act bad. Punch me a fuck nigga, I like a punching bag. Yo, uh, he throwing slangs, fuck nigga out here. All my stick make him bleed like a pig. Bitch, I been sitting with this shit. They can't kill That nigga care who he thinkin' he fear I drop a bad nigga's coming to clear Next nigga play that I'm taking the spin I ain't going back and forth, niggas know where I be at, yeah Walk in that bitch, keep a Glock in my garment. All my young niggas gon' shoot like the Hornet. Can't even hit in my other they inform it. Nigga walk up, I'ma shoot with no warning. Ay, I send a blitz and they swarm it. I got a stick on me when I'm recording. I got a stick on me when I'm performing. Ay, yeah, uh, I got a whole lot of rest in my pocket. Fuckin' these bitch, got a wheel out the tropic. Uh, you ain't having no rest, but stop it. Ay, push away, I need a dolly. I just took a nigga bitch to eat up at five. We got big blunts and rotation inside it. Fuck nigga, placing a shot through his body. Keep that whole out, I ain't trustin' no thotty. Wipin' no clean, that little nigga was snotty. My chopper kickin' like Mr. Miyagi. Draw, he be playing. With that, I just like hockey. Everything I do, these fuck niggas copy. I got a pistol for niggas who stop. Might have to dismiss from 33 like Scotty. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Walking that bitch, keep a Glock in my 